Have you just put your pack in the resource packs folder? But then when you enter Minecraft and you go through your resource packs, it's nowhere to be found. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix this issue and how you can make sure that your pack does show up inside of Minecraft. So the first thing that you want to do is just head out of Minecraft and go over to your pack. The pack I'm going to be using for this is It's Me 64's Tool Revamp. If that sounds like something you would like, then check the download, it's in the description. Anyways, um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going through a bunch of the most common issues since, you know, there can be a lot of issues and I'm going to be going through a, most, uh, through a bunch of the most common ones um, and you should be able to see those down in the chapters below. So first thing you want to do, of course, is just extract your pack um, and now we're going to start off right away with the most common issue and that is if you head into your pack you should see um, these three or two files um, your pack icon it's optional it's not necessary anyways we're going to be looking at the pack.mc meta file i can just open that up using notepad plus plus as you can see um, that is what i use to edit these files if you want that as well then you can head it you, you can head over to the Microsoft Store and get that there. Anyways, now you might not actually be able to directly open up your pack.mc meta file. And then what you want to do is you want to just right click on that, then go to rename and change the mc meta for .txt. Then your computer will tell you that if you change a file name extension, that the file might become unusable. And you can just click on yes, because now it will still be usable. Anyways, now you should be able to edit it no matter what. Anyways, um, the most and most most important thing to do is to check that everything here is perfect. As you can see, this MC Meta file looks like it should be fine, right? Well, no, because there is actually a quotation mark missing over here in front of the word description. Um, if I were to import this pack into Minecraft right now, then it wouldn't actually work. Um, now, um, if I then write the quotation mark over here, just like so, now this pack is going to perfectly import into Minecraft. Now, um, you can go ahead and you can pause the video and you can make sure that your um that your pack.mc meta file is identical to this one um although there are some different variants but what you just mainly want to make sure is that um these curly brackets here that they line up um, another common mistake is forgetting the bottom curly bracket and having something that looks like this this looks correct but this curly bracket doesn't have a closing curly bracket. So you want to make sure that you have that. That um, And of course, the quotation marks as well. Make sure that your pack description is strictly in between the quotation marks. Um, all of that stuff. Anyways, of course, once you've edited it, you can just click on Ctrl S to save it. Or head over to File and save it from there. Um, then um, you should be fine to go. However, if you changed your pack.mc meta to pack.txt, what you want to do is you want to do the same thing you just did and rename this back to mc meta. Okay, on to the next issue that might be causing this. Now, unlike Bedrock Texture Packs, Java Texture Packs have a few more folders in them, and it's very important that all these folders are included. Um, so um, I'll just walk through those, and you need to check if you have all of them. So in your just general pack, you want to have the Assets folder. Through here, you want to have a folder called Minecraft. Nothing else really over here, and that's pretty important. Sometimes you might accidentally forget this folder. Anyways, heading through the Minecraft folder, 
You then want to have a textures folder if you are making a texture pack. Make sure that everything is spelled correctly as well. For example, missing one S in the word, in the word assets um, will cause your pack not to be imported. And then heading over here um, into these folders. And I only have the folder item here, but you might also have the block folder, the GUI folder, the miscellaneous folder. Um, anything like that. Also keep in mind that this is a Java texture pack and once again not a bedrock one and something about the Java texture packs is is that this folder has to be called item. Something that you might see, might see quite often is that you name this folder items and as I said this needs to be item and not items. Another thing that you need to focus on is something we're going to do right now and something you're going to need to do anyways. And that is zipping up your file and making sure that it is zipped correctly. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you select all three of these files or two if you don't have an icon and that you then compress to a zip file from there. If you can't compress it to a zip file, then you want to download a program called 7-Zip that'll be linked in the description. Anyways, this you can call anything you want. Um, there we go. Uh, then I'll just call this the fixed version. Um, anyways, as I said, you want to make sure that it is zipped correctly. So we can go out of here. Um, and now this is the folder I am working in, yeah? This is the folder with these items in it. What you do not want to do is zip this folder. Um, that'll cause there to be an extra folder inside here, and then your pack won't actually be able to get imported. Let me show you what that looks like. There we go, this is a zipped version of that, and if I head into here, then you can see that there's a folder inside of it, and then that there's this. You don't want that. So you make sure want to make sure that you don't zip that. There we go. We can delete that. And we can delete this as well, since we don't need that anymore, because we now have the fixed version. We are with Minecraft launched, and now you still need to import your pack. And it's very important that you um, enable your pack in Minecraft correctly, otherwise it's not going to show up either. So the easiest thing to do is to have your pack right in front of your nose, and then to have Minecraft open. Um, and a good idea is to have it tabbed so that you can see your pack as well as Minecraft. Then of course head into Options and then Resource Packs. And then you can just click on Open Pack Folder. Now you'll have another folder over here. And you want to make sure that you drag this pack right into here. And make sure that, um, as you can see, the blue text over there says Move to Resource Packs. Yeah, something that might happen is, as you can see, I have a bunch of packs inside here. And if I accident, and if I were to go like this, um, then as you can see, the blue text says, has a little plus sign, and then it says copy. Because zip files are actually sort of folders, what I would do if I were to just drag this on top of there is it would just insert this file into one of these other zip files. And I don't want that. I want to make sure that it goes into the resource packs folder. If you're having troubles doing that, then what I recommend is to grab the resource packs folder and then just go back a step, go to dot Minecraft and then locate the resource packs folder over here. Then what you can do is you can drag in your, um, your texture pack right over here. And if you drag it into the resource packs folder, this will allow you to make sure that it has imported and is now in that folder correctly. As you can see, if we are in here and then I scroll down, that's it. It is in this folder correctly. Then once you have that, you can go into Minecraft and then you can scroll through all of your packs. And as you can see over here, 
there it is. This is the pack we just fixed, and it is now correctly in our resource packs. With this finished, we can just click on done, and then the pack should just be enabled inside Minecraft, and then you're going to be good to go. Anyways, if this helped you out, then make sure to leave a like on the video. If you still are having problems, then contact me in the comments below, or join via Discord, the link to that is in the description. Anyways, thank you guys ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.